Hi guys and welcome back to Charming Mommy Vlogs. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever Target haul on this channel. The reason I'm doing it on this channel is just because this channel is more family and motherhood related and this particular haul from Target is entirely organic baby food. So I thought you moms out there might be interested in seeing what I got. <laughs> today in what will eventually be part of my daughter's playroom when we ever fix it up. So I'm going to jump right into showing you what I got and I'm going to start with the brand that I got the most product from. So first of all, I got two and mind you, this is not going to last long because my baby eats, okay? The first two things I got were organic banana and blueberry. It's puree by Earth's Best, and the ingredients are organic bananas, water, organic blueberry puree, citric acid. Now, if anyone knows what citric acid technically is, leave it in the comments below for me, because I know ascorbic acid is like just vitamin C, so that's cool. But I can't think of citric acid off the top of my head. So I was trying to see what the benefit of even having citric acid is in there, and that is why I would love for somebody to get me a um, baby bullet blender for Christmas and I'm literally gonna put her on my Christmas list because I want to be able to just mash up whatever I want her to eat and not have any sort of additives in it if you know what I mean now the next two I got are apple raisin flax and oat just because I'm just trying to get her to you know expand her horizons flavor wise but she's literally tried pretty much all these and this one has water, organic apples, organic ground, flaxseed, organic raisins, organic whole grain, barley flour, organic oat fiber, organic whole grain oats, organic whole grain quinoa flour, organic cinnamon, and citric acid. The third one that I got is two of the organic pasta with tomato and white bean. Hopefully you guys can see that. This one's kind of cool. I tasted it and I was surprised at how much like pasta it tastes. Made with olive oil. And it's got organic pasta rings, organic tomato paste, organic carrots, organic cannellini beans, organic onions, organic extra virgin olive oil, organic garlic, organic basil. Like, so this one, the next ones that I got, I kind of went a little overboard in the spirit of Thanksgiving, but I got her organic pumpkin, cranberry, and apple. Now, of course, the ingredients are organic apple, organic pumpkin puree, water, organic cranberries, and citric acid. I just think this is awesome. The next ones I got were two of the organic butternut squash and pear. There you go. Um, ingredients, organic pear puree concentrate, water, organic butternut squash puree, citric acid. So hopefully you can see those. These are two of my favorite. She doesn't like them the most, but she does eat them. And it's spinach, lentil, and brown rice. And of course, they're organic as well. Ingredients, organic pea puree, water, organic spinach puree, organic lentil flour, organic whole grain brown rice flour. I don't see where we're going wrong. Then I got an organic sweet potato and apple. Another one in the spirit of Thanksgiving, but it's just one I don't think I've had her try. Ingredients, organic apples, organic sweet potatoes, water, citric acid. Then I also got organic pear and apricot. The reason I got this one is because she hadn't tried apricots as far as I know. And I was obsessed with apricots as a baby, they tell me. So maybe she'll like it. Now all that was from the brand Earth's Best, which is a great brand, except for um, in the jar version, they have a vegetable turkey dinner. Disgusting. Now this is from Beech Nut. It's Beech Nut Organic Oatmeal Whole Grain Baby Cereal. Cereal on the go. Again, I stay organic. Cooked baby cereal water. Cereal water. Let's put a comma in between that. Cooked baby cereal, water, organic whole grain, oat, flour. And that's it. I've got two of their cold purees from Beech Nut Organics. I've got organic pear and apricot just because I wanted to try the apricot. And then this one is apple, sweet potato, pineapples, and oat. Okay. 
Their ingredients are organic pears, organic apricots, organic apples, organic sweet potatoes, organic pineapple, water, organic whole oat flour. Now, if you guys are against any of the ingredients that I've read off and have a reason why, if you'd leave that in the comments below because I just always like feeling knowledgeable and learning new things. Then I got three from Plum Organics. I got apple and broccoli because I don't get her that one too much. This one that she hasn't had, it's pineapple, banana, navy beans, yellow bell peppers, and oats. Like, they eat just as good or better than we do. And all you gotta do is mash it up. Right now, she's literally days away from being eight months old, and so she's trying everything. Like, we cannot take her out to a restaurant, which you guys will see in the vlog, either before or after this video, because I'm not sure which order I'm gonna post them in yet, but yesterday we vlogged it, and so, you just really cannot take her to a restaurant without her expecting to eat something off your plate. And it has to be, like, she will resist this if she sees our food. So it's getting to that point, you guys. Okay. And then for Plum Organics, I also got cherry, blackberry, purple carrot, and millet. Now, I know for a fact she hasn't tried purple carrots because I don't think I have either. Like, what the heck is that? Blackberries, I've wanted her to try because they are my favorite. But she really has expanded her range of things that she can eat which i will talk about in her seven month update it's a full seven month update which will be coming up this week as well because she'll be turning eight months and now that i caught up to the seventh month with the updates i want to try to keep up so i'll be posting the previous month at the end of the month if that makes sense so that's all for the puree bags that i got in beach nut organics for the jars i got organic just apple raspberry and avocado and again, the ingredients are organic apples, organic raspberries, organic avocados. How can you go wrong? My thing is, before she was born, we looked this up. And the only thing I wanted to give her was organic food. All natural, whatever. But the thing is, they only had it online. Like, you couldn't find it at Walmart on the shelf or anything. And so, I go to Target the other day, the Target that I've been going to. And they had, like, an entire four-foot section of all this organic stuff that I have looked up months ago now if i had known it was there i'd have been going there the whole time i don't know if i just assumed they didn't have it because walmart didn't or what but we totally overlooked that till now and then when she was born and i started having to give her the solid food you know after four months i was at the store and i thought i got something organic and i get home and it was all natural but it was beech nut so we used it anyway because we like that brand so the next jar puree that I got for stage two is Beach Nut Organics, banana, cinnamon, and granola. Something she definitely has not had. Granola, like, is it ground up enough? Like, I can't imagine. But she's surprising us with her chewing skills right now. I hope there's not like chunks in there or something. But it shouldn't be because I was testing the stage three and that seems to be when the chunks come in. It was one I got the other day, and it was a mixture of something that I don't remember, but it was like just the same consistency to me as the stage two. And then when we got to the bottom, there was like whole chunks of peas and things. I was like, oh no, I'm not giving that to my baby. And then this week, she's eating like chunks of avocado and mashed potatoes, of course, but then like beans and things. Yesterday, I let her try a piece of, you know, egg. They say egg yolk is good for brain development. I don't know why they don't have egg ground up in baby food jars like they used to on the shelf. If anybody knows, then leave that in the comments below because I would like the story on that. I've been told that it's recommended to feed your baby at least the egg yolk from between six to eight months or a year or nine months or whatever the case may be like to start them on it at some point because it's great for brain development. Um, we were out and I gave her like the egg yolk off my salad but um, obviously cooked. But I guess there was like a little piece of the white part in there. Um, what is it called? I was like, oh, oh, can we get that out of her mouth? And she just chewed it up and swallowed it like it was no big deal. Now she does have her two bottom front teeth pretty much fully out. So she's been doing the chewing motions and all that. But I'm still like so afraid to give her like a teething cracker or french fry you know what i mean but she took it like she'd been eating that stuff all the time so it was pretty crazy but it was so great to see like you know like yeah she's ready to eat she's ready to chew she can chew better than we thought beach nut organic pear kill and cucumber those are the last two that i got for now 
And yeah, again, the ingredients are organic pears, organic kale, organic cucumbers, organic lemon juice concentrate. I'm not too fond of the lemon juice concentrate, but I mean, it could be worse, right? That was the gist of my Target haul of organic baby food. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got. They actually had a lot more. But, you know, I don't need all of it right now. I hope this video was a little informative for you or a little fun. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want me to do more haul videos on this channel, please do let me know. I wanted to also let you guys know that I noticed my 100th subscriber milestone is coming up. And I am ecstatic. Like, it blew my mind to think that I almost have 100 subscribers on this channel. And so I was trying to figure out what to do. And I did a poll on some site and I was recommended to do a giveaway. <clears throat> so I asked you guys what you would like me to do because I wanted it to be something you guys would want to watch. Now, I've been requested to do a giveaway, of course, because who doesn't like free stuff? But I was thinking I would save that for a bigger milestone, like maybe 500, which I do hope to get to eventually. What I was going to do is like bring a special guest on here and you guys can tell me who you'd want to you know hear from or meet or I'll do like a Q&A of me or my family or something like that and you guys could either ask the questions you can send them to me on my Instagram or Twitter or leave them in the comments down here and I'll do a Q&A of maybe 10 to 15 questions in a whole video for you guys or I can just do a specific tag or challenge or even try to prank somebody again. If you guys noticed, long ago when I first started the channel for my family, I actually tried to prank my husband. And it was the worst thing I could have ever tried to do because it was such a fail. I was laughing crazily the entire time. So he was not believing me. I was not believing me. But it was still fun because I like followed through with the whole thing like until the end. So it was pretty cool. And I was also thinking, like, if you guys wanted to meet my husband, like, more in depth, I can do, like, the husband tag. So, it'll be one of those for the 100th subscriber celebration. But it'll just be specifically because I would have reached 100 subscribers. And I want to thank you guys so much for the support. Like, the support and interaction that I get is just amazing to me that being said i hope you guys enjoyed my first target haul on this channel and if you have any other requests or suggestions or videos that you specifically think that would be good that you want to see just let me know so i hope you guys enjoyed this video all right and i will see you guys later bye